Okay, so it's time for me to talk about Gus Johnson. This isn't something I wanted to do because I really looked up to Gus as a role model, and it just sucks when someone you looked up to turns out to be a manipulative, abusive person. If you don't know what's going on with him, I'm not going to go into detail, so if you need context, please watch Abelina Sabrina's video, My Eptopic Pregnancy. If you don't know anything about the situation, please go watch her video first. The most important person in the story is Sabrina, and I don't want her story to be overshadowed by everyone talking about Gus. Now that being said, I still think it's important to talk about Gus and his horrible subreddit. R slash Gus Johnson is a subreddit that I've been a part of since I've been on Reddit, which isn't very long. It was just a fun place to talk about Gus's videos. But after Sabrina's video came out, the subreddit obviously completely changed to talk about the current situation. There were some people who were saying that what Gus did was extremely fucked up and that they didn't want to support him anymore. While I didn't post in the subreddit, I'm still one of these people. There were those that said he did nothing wrong and that people were blowing everything way out of proportion. And there were those that didn't want to take sides and just wanted to watch funny content. There was a lot of talk about why Sabrina didn't keep this to herself and saying that the only reason she would even post this video was to get Gus canceled, which obviously is bullshit. Sabrina was abused and people who were abused deserve to talk about it whenever and however they want to. This really hits close to home for me because I was physically and sexually abused multiple times in my life by different people. And it took me a very long time to one, come to terms with that and two, to be able to talk about it. And I still haven't really talked about it on this channel, so I just wanted to thank Sabrina for being able to talk about her experience, despite all of the backlash that she knew she was going to receive. The subreddit is now even worse than it was before. Almost every single person in this subreddit now are people that think that Gus did nothing wrong, or that since he put out two horrible apologies that he's deserving of forgiveness. If you want to see a video about his apology so that you don't have to watch his actual video, I suggest Gabby Bell's video on it, which I will link in the description. But just because someone apologizes doesn't mean they are deserving of forgiveness, especially if they abused and manipulated a partner or friends for years. I remember a few months ago when the situation was starting to get really bad, the subreddit was so bad that it was locked down and no one could post anything on it. I honestly wish it stayed that way because holy shit, victim blaming, victimizing Gus, massive downvoting of anyone who says anything that is anti-Gus. It's a fucking cesspool. This video hopefully isn't going to be too long just because Gus is already taking up an unhealthy amount of real estate in my head and contributing to the decline of my mental health. So, r slash Gus Johnson. The first post you see when you come in is the pinned post by a mod saying that the subreddit is back and just basically talks about how the mods were being abused by uh, people in the subreddit and they had to lock it down because there's not a big enough team. And then you go into the, the comments. No matter what Gus's next video response was, he'd get hate. Apologizes, get hate. Doesn't apologize, gets hate admits he was wrong, gets hate. It's not the fact that he apologized. It's not the fact that he didn't apologize. It's the fact that he was so abusive for years and he had this clean cut family man comedy that was, that was pro women's rights. But behind the scenes, he was forcing his girlfriend to get an abortion. He was saying that if he was anybody else that they would have left already. It's, it's the, it's the hypocrisy of his content as well as the, his actions and his inability to take responsibility for it because those apologies, he's not taking responsibility for it. He's coming up with excuses for himself as to why he did these things instead of saying, hey, I fucked up and I'm sorry. He was saying, oh, you know, this was a bad part of my life and you know, we were all going through things and we went through counseling and all. When it turns out that they didn't actually go through counseling and Sabrina has proof that they didn't actually go through counseling. He's just lying and trying to manipulate people into thinking that he's actually sorry, which is bullshit. I'm literally going through something like that in my own life right now where somebody who I considered my best friend abused and manipulated people for a long time. I'm no longer friends with him because I, it's not something I want in my life and it's not something that anybody should have to deal with. Yeah, IDK why he did it this way. Like, study the pro Jared playbook. You have to get ahead of a vindictive ex. She's not vindictive. She was fucking abused. Do you know them? Do you know what happened? No? So then why are you siding with the person who's been accused of abuse? It doesn't make any sense to me. Gus has consistently made fun of these people so many times on his own channel and you're gonna take his side now even though you've been agreeing with the content that he's been making about this? Like, it did... Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, even though there's so much proof that Sabrina's being the bad person now, and some people will just hate Gus anyway because, I don't know, women can never lie, or maybe they're just not open-minded. Gus has already admitted to it. Like, he's already admitted to doing these things. What's the fucking argument here? All of these comments just, they're driving me insane, and I know Reddit is just not a good place at all. Like, people complain about Twitter, but Reddit is worse. But like, yeah, these idiots on Twitter and YouTube crying about how much Sabrina suffers. Of course Sabrina's suffering. She was abused! I d what? 
What? If somebody's abused, of course they're gonna fucking suffer. I still suffer from shit that happened to me when I was 17. I still suffer from shit that happened to me when I was six. This was a few years ago. Like if you force your girlfriend to get an abortion because it's gonna ruin your life, and then when she's in the hospital from that pregnancy that you were a part of, you say, uh, you know, I'm gonna get dinner with friends after I'm done working. You're a fucking terrible person. Be there in the hospital with the person that you're supposed to love. How hard is that for people to understand? What proof that Sabrina is being a bad person? I haven't been following this much. And then this guy links a video. Well, what is this video? It's a 30 minute long video from a guy named Jimmy Robbins that's called Abelina Sabrina and Weaponized Trauma. Excuse me? Is this some fucking right wing grifter, dude? I don't know. I'll take a look at this later and if I can make a video about it. I definitely will because weaponized trauma fuck you dude like I said earlier it's it's the subreddit is just full of people saying that Sabrina doesn't have the right to feel the way that she feels which is just so fucked I can't think of another word to say for it other than fuck one of the newer posts on the subreddit apparently Ian has thanked Gus for filming his new video with him and if that's the case look Ian if if you're gonna go to bat for Gus instead of you know listening to somebody who was abused that's that's kind of shitty that says a lot about you he abused somebody that he was supposed to care for I don't know maybe I just have different morals and can easily cut people out of my life that's just a shame uh so there's a big thing that's been going on in Gus's subreddit lately. He just put out another God's Country video. And at the end of the video, he is crying with his mom about the hard year that he's had. Which is just so freaking what, dude? I'm sorry. Okay. Don't put it in. People will think I'm faking. No, they're not. I'm fucking sick of people. I know. Just be good to people, please. Like, Gus, have you experienced online harassment? Sure. But you were literally abusing somebody that you were in a relationship with. Your hard year? Your hard, like, six months? How about the horrible past four or five years that Sabrina's had to go through? You're using your mother for sympathy, and it's working! Like, you just have to look at some of these posts on the subreddit. Can we applaud mom being a supportive mom? The most recent video's ending, and his mom's response to his emotions hit me hard. She's been manning the camera for these silly God Country videos for him for years now, putting up with his assery in the best humor. She sees her kid is hurting. He might not be the perfect son or the perfect human. No one really is. He just happened to be called out on some shit he did in the past, and everyone and their mom knows about it now. Of course he's gonna get hate from many folks. He did some bad stuff. It happens. I have too. But moms like her and my own mother have been steadfast and supportive of their shitty sons and see through to the kid us grown-ups really are. Give it up for mom. It's his fucking mom. And she literally said in the video, we can cut this out. And Gus was like, no, we can keep it in. I've just had a really bad year. He's using his mother for sympathy because that's what he does. He uses people. Like people, people are sitting here talking about how the end of that video is just so good. Oh, it's so good. Good. Oh, I've never seen a better end to the video. Like this. God tier country. The ending. Remember, we should never expect anyone to be perfect. Yeah, everybody's done shitty things in their past. People do shitty things. I've done shitty things. But I take accountability for those things. And Gus has yet to do that. He put out one Twitter apology that was horrible. And then he put out a YouTube apology with lies in it. I still think he's a shitty human being. I have no sympathy for Gus. Mods, why are you letting people go around and tell people to eat shit and stop breathing for supporting Gus? This is a direct violation of the subreddit rule, be nice. We've reported them several times. They are still at it. Maybe that new subreddit, r slash Gus Buckets, isn't such a bad idea. This comment under that post says, don't support an abuser. are just downvoting comments saying that Gus is an abuser, which he is, because he's already admitted to doing it. So pretty much right before all of this happened, Gus was set out to go on a comedy tour. And until eight days ago, he hadn't said a single thing about canceling the tour. He wasn't refunding people. He wasn't telling people if show dates were canceled. He wasn't saying a single thing. And then eight days ago, according to this Reddit post, Gus Johnson cancels 2022 tour. So this is a message from Gus that was emailed out to the people who had bought tickets. He's had three fucking months to do this. Take responsibility. If you're gonna cancel your tour, Cancel your tour. Give people refunds when they want to get refunds. Like if people are asking you for refunds and you know you're going to cancel your tour, give them a fucking refund when they want it. I don't see what's so hard about that. Oh, well, it's the venues, it's the venues. I don't care. Pull it out of your own fucking pocket then. You're the one canceling the tour. You're the one not communicating with people. Pull it out of your own pocket and refund people who wanted to support you. 
who no longer want to support you because you're a shitty person. As many of you know, I've spent the past few months on a creative hiatus so I could prioritize personal reflection and mental health. Except no, he wasn't on a creative hiatus for the past few months. He was literally posting on YouTube. He said he was going to take a break and then he took a break for a little bit and then visible dislikes were taking off of YouTube and then he jumps right back in. So this motherfucker was not on a creative hiatus. He's using that as an excuse. Because of this, I haven't had adequate time to make the show I feel my fans deserve. While I'm sorry to say I'm canceling my 2022 tour, I feel confident that with some more time, I'll be able to bring you a bigger and better show that'll tour in 2023. Thank you so much for showing up for me. I love you all, and I'm looking forward to creating a show that you'll love. Can't wait to see you next year. Love, Gus. If you knew you were going to cancel your tour you should have canceled it earlier. The whole thing just kind of seems like really shitty and just another shitty thing on top of it because people are sitting here being like, hey, can you buy this ticket off of me? And then somebody would buy the ticket and then the thing would cancel. You should have just been upfront about it. And if you knew you were going to cancel the tour, just say you're canceling the tour. Stop responding to bait. The latest set of anti-Gus posts have been troll accounts. Anyone who is truly anti-Gus has already unsubscribed and moved on. Just a friendly reminder to downvote and not engage with these people. Do you see what I mean? They are literally downvoting anybody who is anti-Gus Johnson and saying that they're bait. I have a sinking feeling that these are all just children or like people that Gus and Eddie wouldn't want in their audience in the first place. Refunding tickets is up to Ticketmaster, not Gus. Who's ever still mad at him? It's like you've never been the toxic person in a relationship, which I don't believe for a second. What? So you're saying that people that were abused have no right to be mad at him because you wouldn't believe that they weren't the toxic person in a relationship, even though the Gus was the toxic person in the relationship and abused Sabrina and the people like Sabrina who have been abused are mad at Gus but then you're saying that those people were probably also abusers but like it just doesn't make any sense there are some bad people and you're basically just outing yourself and saying that you're a bad person and then you've done shit that Gus has done why do people who don't support Gus take the time to comment negative things on his videos I'm not here posting this to make a judgment call about any of this and I'm not asking for anyone's comments about the Gus and Sabrina situation I'm here because a friend texted me that Gus just posted a new video and the comments are full of people making the same jokes about can't watch going out with the boys or a variant of that if you really hate someone, why are you watching their videos as soon as they get posted just a comment? Maybe I'm naive, but if there's a creator I don't like or don't agree with, I don't watch or interact with their stuff. I personally wouldn't go to Gus's videos and like comment shit. If people want to make fun of Gus for the shit that he did to Sabrina, fucking let him. Let them do it. We want the Johnsons podcast with Gus, Sven, Thor, and Hani. No, we don't. This subreddit does. I understand that this subreddit does. I don't want any more content with Gus. I would enjoy that. No offense to Eddie, as he's a cool dude, but he was sort of my least favorite. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry here. But Eddie was the heart and soul of that fucking podcast. I prefer YouTubers like Gus and Sven that make original content over YouTubers like Eddie whose content isn't original as much as it is commentary or other people's work. So you don't think commentary is original? Saying that Eddie doesn't make original content? A little fucking weird. I mean, there's enough sketch comedy channels on YouTube as well. It's not exactly a niche. Gus fans will sit there and complain that people that don't like Gus will go and bombard Gus's comment section with like hate comments, but they do the same thing to Sabrina and they do the same thing to Eddie and they do the same thing to anybody who doesn't like what Gus does. So you're sitting there and complaining about the thing that you're also doing. Like this post here. After Eddie's comment, if you can't see all the pieces of shit blindly trying to make Gus look like an angel, then you're just brain dead. Trust between us from me is completely broken and I just can't work with him in the future. And if, if somebody's best friend is saying that, they're probably not a good person. I don't really want to talk about the subreddit anymore. A lot of the things are just people trying to sell their Gus tickets before Gus canceled the show and all. And <sighs> I just, I don't, I don't have the energy to let Gus be in my head anymore. I, I'm going through enough of my own shit. And um, like I said before, I really looked up to Gus as a content creator and it's just, it's really disheartening to see that he never really took responsibility for the things that he did. Sabrina, if by any chance you are watching this, uh, thank you for talking about your situation because I think it's extremely important. Please keep continuing to make great content. You already are. I'm sorry if this video seemed extremely disjointed. I just wanted to, to get something out there because I was scrolling through the subreddit and I was just seeing all of these disgusting, hateful comments towards people who were abused. But uh, that's gonna be it for me today. Like, subscribe, whatever. Go subscribe to Sabrina because Sabrina is such a great content creator. My next video is gonna be funny though. I hope, I promise I'm gonna go back to, to comedy after this video. I just feel like I needed to talk about the situation and I wanted to talk about it in my own way and about uh, something that I had seen. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.